Hi, welcome to Joy Fido International. Now, as always, we always bring you really, really amazing things. And this is because when we find something that we know is really good, we like to share with you. So my name is Joy Fido and today it's going to be all about the healthy eating, the making sure that the chemicals you put into your body are not what's coming to destroy you or damage you and all of that. So we, we tend to support you and encourage you to start thinking healthy. And this side of our business as part of Jeffrey International is called the Nutri Life. And what is Nutri Life? It's all about putting nutrients into your body. So this is what's going to happen today. It's going to be all about telling you about something unique out there that's going to add some more nutrients into your body. So welcome on board. So you find out that um, over time we've been gradually introducing this part of our business to you. Um, we did something on garlic, we did something on ginger, and um, I know earlier in the year we did something something really exciting as well, how to detox your body. And the inquiries from that was really, really great and overwhelming. And so people are really curious about things that could help them to, you know, maintain a healthy life. I know when I started going into nutrition, most of it was based on, you know, managing your weight or weight loss and all of that. But over time, which I've explained in a few videos, is I am extremely interested in nutrition and wellness. So it's all about making sure that we are, you know, putting the right things into our body. Because like I always say to people, think of your body like a car. And if you don't take good care of it, if you don't put the right fuel into it, if you don't manage it properly, it's going to go all broken. And then you need to constantly send it out there for them to fix this part and fix that part. And so you're constantly with the mechanics and asking them, could you check this one and check that? So that's what we're like. We're like that. And if we don't take good care of our body, what happens is we end up with the doctor all the time. And I always say, you don't have to hand over your body to somebody else. I mean, I, doctors are humans like you and I. And I've heard so many stories of that doctor who smoked so much and died and that doctor who drank so much and died and that doctor. So just like us, they are not superhuman. You can take control of what you put into your body. And that's where my interest in nutrition and health, uh, wellness comes from. Because if you put the right thing in, the body will behave itself. The body will be excited about what you've done to it. It's about you caring for it. And this is what I'm all about in this side of our business, to help you know the right things to pull into your body that will help it work for you. So it's about your body working for you. And how can your body work for you? By putting the right things in. So today is another exciting thing that we have come across and we just thought it's only fair and natural to share it with you. And it's called the hibiscus, hibiscus tea. So that's what the topic today is about. So what is the hibiscus tea? Um, it's from the hibiscus plant. And the only way I can explain it is, is a plant. And it's got beautiful, beautiful flowers. It's mostly found in tropical, uh, tropical areas. Um, Cause I know I've definitely seen this in Florida where the sun is always out there. Um, but this particular one that I'm working with today is from Africa. And that's because just like you have roses in the West, we have hibiscus. So the, the plants are very similar to a rose, a, rose, um, a rose flower, or rather the flower of the hibiscus plant is very similar to a rose flower and very, very beautiful. Uh, what we're going to do in the process of creating this video, we'll show you some images of a pure hibiscus flower in its natural bloom. But it is from this flower that this hibiscus tea is made. And how is it made? It's, it's actually dried. So they go through the process of, I think they call them 
Oh, I've forgotten the term for it, how the drying process is formed. I'll, I'll try and remember it. And so it's completely dried out and then that is what is sold to you as the hibiscus tea because then you can create tea out of them. And this is really exciting because um, there's so much you can do with so many different plants out there. And I am so excited that we have been able, we Africans have been able to create something out of this amazing plant that is so popular in our location or in our area. That's why I fell in love with it. But of course, apart from falling in love with the fact that it's an African plant or, or, or flower, is the, is the amazing health benefits that comes out of this amazing plant. Um, now, remember what we talked about, about cutting out the chemicals from inside our body and, you know, infusing more and more natural things and encouraging the nutrients to come into our body. This was what made me really embrace this particular tea. And that's why I've come to share it with you. So we're talking about how this particular uh, flower is preserved. Now, preservation of food comes in various forms. I mean, there are three major ways we can have our food that's healthy for our body. And that's either eating it completely fresh. So you go into the shop and you see all this fresh um, fruits and vegetables and you just buy them and you eat them straight on. That's fine. Because the minute you keep fresh food hanging out for long, what happens is what they call oxidation. And oxidation is that process where oxygen is coming to interfere with whatever that natural thing is. And then it starts to go bad. Um, so that's what we don't want. If we don't want that, what, what's the next option? The next option is to freeze it. And that's when you have frozen food. So that fresh food is put in some process of freezing it and then it stops um, oxidation from happening because oxygen cannot interfere with that frozen food and that's why when you buy frozen food and you bring it out from the freezer you're meant to just use it immediately and get it out of the you know cook it or do whatever you need to do with it otherwise oxidation starts to happen and it goes bad the third one is drying the food and when you dry the food the process is called dehydration so Sometimes some people you can actually buy a dehydrator and how that works it, it works with electricity Now for us mostly in Nigeria in particular Electricity is an issue to have it constantly going on So there are other ways we work around this and we are so blessed with the Sun So we have so much sunshine and that's what is used to dry most of these foods coming from Africa so these foods are dried and then once you have them you can now hydrate them again by putting water into them or cooking them or doing whatever else you want to do and there's so many types of food that are dehydrated i actually did buy a book on dehydration and it's really amazing what goes on because it's been with us for thousands of years but we never really looked at it in that kind of format because things like pepper they're dried garlic they're dried ginger they're dried and all these herbs and spices they're all dried they're all going through the process of dehydration so this is just one of them and so what i'm going to do is um give you a hint about the kind of things that you could benefit when you have this tea um as part of your healthy regime and then show you how i actually make this tea um but the beauty of all of this is we have this tea available and you are very, very welcome to order your tea from us and we're happy to send them to you. So one of the biggest things that comes out of this tea is the vitamin C antioxidants. So we're still talking benefits. So its greatest benefit for me is vitamin C, which I just mentioned. Now, in the process of my taking on my nutrition course, I'm coming across amazing things that I had no idea about and I, and I thought I knew about health or, or nutrition. Antioxidants, we just talked about oxidation, are the only things that we can use in getting rid of oxidation. And that's why years ago, um, apparently when people wanted to preserve food, they used things like vitamin E because vitamin E actually helps to preserve nature. And so there's so many other types. There's um, glutathion, there's um, uh, vitamin C and I just can't go into all of that right now but there are five major antioxidants that are 
absolutely necessary for the body to be well preserved and so whenever you hear anything contains vitamin C go for it you hear something contains vitamin E go for it and there are three other ones that I haven't mentioned but of course there'll be a day for really looking into antioxidants so this particular one we're looking at today contains vitamin C and what it does it actually stops oxidation from happening and oxidation is that thing that actually causes whatever this natural thing is to go bad so it, when you go further into understanding them they call them free radicals so what these antioxidants do is they stop the action of free radicals so they stop that thing from going bad from going um, becoming unhealthy or unsafe so today's focus being hibiscus tea is all about infusing vitamin C lots of it into your body okay so when I was ready to do this I had just a quick look at some other benefits that comes out of this and I'm gonna read them quickly to you again feel free to go and research for yourself so it says it relieves from high blood pressure again you pull this lots of vitamin C into your body it's gonna help relieve it so many ways um, it relieves digestive or immune it supports the immune system uh, inflammatory again inflammatory is just as bad as um, oxidation and so this helps to stop it um, other problems it cures liver disease uh, it reduces the risk of cancer I wouldn't know much detail but these are some of the things they're talking about it helps to speed up metabolism okay so when we're talking about weight loss and weight gain metabolism is one of those really big things that we need to look at so once you've eaten the food what happens how does it break down does it is it very slow or is it quick does it can it break it down quickly enough for us to move on and be active so if something can help support your metabolism to be quicker then that thing is healthy and that's what this thing does so in the process of helping your metabolism it helps to lead to healthy and gradual weight loss so again when i'm looking at nutrition and you know wellness for me it's not about that overnight looking um like a, a stick of broom or looking so skinny and you're telling your friends how amazing you look no it's about gradually letting go of the excess weight or excess um fat or the excess toxins in your body because all of these things they are not healthy for you and anything that's beginning to slow you down is not what your body needs so metabolism is practically breaking that down and helping you to let go of them slowly not overnight um it's rich in vitamin c we've talked about it helps in the treatment of hypertension and anxiety um it's low in calories and it also have it is completely free of caffeine some of the other interesting things um, they talked about was which I've all, already mentioned is blood pressure management um, antioxidants uh, lowering cholesterol uh, protecting the liver um, it fights the free radicals and anti-cancer properties so all of these things are all there it's for you to go and find out some more about it but what really excited me and made me want to share this with you was the vitamin c content which is an antioxidant which is something your body actually does need okay so this is what they look like when you get them in the market And way back in Nigeria, we call this Zobo. Um, it is spelled Z O B O. Zobo. So you go into the market and you see them looking like this. Now, the only thing I'll say about this, if you are in Nigeria and you're watching this and you want to get into this, is make sure when you get them, you actually take your time to clean them up because obviously they are out there in the open. Um, um, things patching on them and all of that so it's for you to clean them as much as you can take out anything that's not meant to be there and practically make sure it's healthy for you it's clean 
Now, the other thing I found out <clears throat> being in Nigeria is there's so many ways people cook this. And I'm saying cook in the sense of they don't make it as we make tea here in the West. They take their time to cook and actually cook, cook, cook this. So what happens is instead of just boiling just this and um, drinking it as tea, they actually add lots and lots of things to this. So you could see them putting... Um, someone gave me a recipe and you know the pineapple so they actually peel the pineapple and the back the back of the pineapple not the flesh the back they add to this and boil it and apparently that pineapple back also helps in curing some illnesses like malaria and the lady mentioned a few things um, some people add ginger to the boiling uh, there's so many different things. My sister is very good at great making this and she puts so many other things and Usually when they are done with it, it's so sweet Because they've added lots and lots of various fruits to it But for me, that's not my interest in it because my interest is about bringing other vitamin C content in this and It's all about just drinking this tea and enjoying it. The tea in itself is absolutely amazing so for me i'm not into sugar i don't like sugary things i don't like sweet tasting things so that's why it was exciting for me to just have the tea make it just like we make tea and have it to drink okay so you buy this exactly the way it is either you're cooking in the way i've just mentioned like they do it back home or you do what i'm doing now what i'm doing is I've taken my time to get various types of equipment to help me and this particular one is a grinder a spice grinder that's one brand and there was another one I, I saw as well another spice grinder what does it do for me because it's dry I needed something that it's like a dry blender so I got that and this is what it looks like so what I'm going to do is just show you a hint of what I did. But this is the result of what it looks like. So I've got this beautiful jar. And I've ground my hibiscus tea or zobo, whatever name you want to call it. And this is the result. Okay, so I ground this and this is the result that I got. Now when you're grinding this, what you don't want is to make it too powdery because it's not um this is not uh a spice so you're not trying to just throw it onto something and just eat with it you were trying to infuse the liquid out of it so making it too powdery will just dissolve everything so you just want to make a hint of it just break it down a little bit and that's all you want to do with it and then the next option i went for was to start putting them in tea bags and this is so many of the tea bags that i created and how did i create that i got that and put it into the tea bag so what i'm gonna do now is show you just show you a hint of grinding this and then make the tea for you to see how you can easily now that i've made life so easy just get this one and make the tea in your house or just buy this and i'll show you how you make this tea as well just to make life easy not to get involved with the raw process of getting this okay so you get your um grinder and you throw some of them into it And then you cover and then you check it make sure that you haven't got too many holes you go again
you can always be checking from the top as well to see how flat it looks. The flatter it looks, the better. And so that's the result of a quick grind. So that's what you're going to use in making your tea. Okay, so these are various types of tea, tea siphon makers or tea makers or teapots, whatever you want to call it. The beauty about this is, look at that. Now that sits inside here. And so what I'm going to do is put my loose tea leaves and put in there. And then I'll add the hot water. And you allow it to sieve through this sieve. You see how thin they are. And so that leaf is not going to go through it. And then you have your tea ready to drink. The same thing with this. has exactly the same technology. All of these are sieve. And, uh, and so you just put your tea leaves in there. Same thing with this as well, but I just love the look of this and that's why I bought it. Not necessarily because I'm going to use it right now. Again, you see that. That's where the sieve comes in. And so when you put that in and push it down, that's it. So we're going to work with this too for now and then you see what comes out. Okay, so what I've done, um, that's the loose tea, tea leaves. So I'm going to take a spoonful. And I'll just pour it in here. Do the same thing with the smaller one. Pour it in there. You can add a bit more. The more you add, the, the thicker the color of the tea will be. The beauty about this tea it is so colorful. So I boiled hot water and I'm going to just pour the water on this. That's your tea made. Same thing here. As much as you want it. So you allow the tea to sip. We we'll just put the loose tea into that and just pour the hot water on it. And that's all there is to it. I like to sip and after about 10 minutes or so, it's ready to drink. Because you allow it to sip in the sense of the Vitamin C or all the um, nutrients that's in it needs to come out of this dry leaf. Remember, it's been preserved by drying. So when you pour the hot water on it, you allow it to take its time to infuse. That's exactly what we do when we're drinking with regular tea bag. So that's what we just done here. What I'm going to do now is boil water for you to see when I insert a tea bag into the cup. And that's what the beautiful cups are here for. Okay, so I've got the tea bag now, water's ready, and I just dip it into the mug. And I just pour. And you gradually just see how it starts to seep away. Um, I absolutely love tea bag without any paper attached to it, because then again we're concerned about all the things that comes in. So that's it. Can you see that dropping off? It's, it's so red, you actually think that is blood. So you allow it to seep as well. Now, the beauty of this, which is what I left these three cups for, is you can actually use that same tea bag to create at least four cups of this tea at a go, and even more. The trick is just keep pouring hot water on it for as long as it's still sipping out red it still got all the nutrients in it what then happens when you know it's done is when the color changes and most times the color changes into purple then you know that the vitamin c content is done now this is really good this one so i'm going to change that and give it to another cup and then i'll add more hot water into that as well You allow that one to sip again. 
Now there are, there are pros and cons in this. If you have this type, all you have is a large um, tea cup of tea ready to drink. So all you would have done is just pour it into your mug and start drinking. Well, if you had this, you're waiting for it to sip, sip through, and then you keep changing or adding more water to it. Now, the con about this is when you're done, you're going to have to bring out the um, loosely uh, leaves, and then you are going to have to pour it out and clean the pot and all of that. While this one is already in the, in the little bag, and so there's nothing to do to this, except whenever you're done, you just pick that up and put it in the bin. So whatever, whichever way makes you happy, you're free to go for whichever one makes you happy. And we have both options available here. So that's the loose tea in the same bottle. And it's the same content in here that's in the number of tea bags we have there because we put quite a lot in one tea bag. It's not your regular basic tea bag. Look at how full it is. We could have made it half, but we chose to make it as full so that it gives you enough tea in one in one bag now you can see i'm onto the third bag now i mean the tea the, the third tea cup and then i'm going to add hot water again And so that's how you just keep infusing and infusing until you've had enough. Oh, you can see that nothing is coming out anymore. And then it's time to throw that tea bag away. But this one, still go. Look at that. Still very red coming out. And so that, those are the choices for you. Okay, so all the information on this tea is available on our website. We're going to put everything about this on our website. Um, in the description box below is going to be information about everything we've talked about in this particular video. Um, how much the, 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 the size will cost you and how much in the tea bag will cost you. And um, if you wanted to know where I got all this from, if you're here in the UK, I got this from Debenhams. Um, but anything outside here, I wouldn't know where you get things like this from. Oh, uh, the grinder, I got that from from Amazon. And so it's it's it depends on where you're based. Just type in grinder, and you get whatever um, types of various options there are. That also came from Debenhams and the tea cups. Again, I'm so into transparent things because I want to see what it looks like. And that's why I make sure whatever I'm buying is transparent. You see that image. So it's up to you. If you want to go for regular tea cup, it's fine. If you want to go for a jug, it's fine. Whatever it is, it's fine. The tea will still be the same color. It's just that I enjoy seeing the color of whatever I'm drinking. So while we're still waiting for the tea to cool down a bit before I drink it for you to see, it's just to let you know that this tea is well known and it's been there for generations and centuries. It's nothing new. But all that's new here is awareness and knowing what it actually contains. Um, the beauty of looking at natural things is you just know what is in it. Now when you start buying tablets and buying all these processed things and things that are so unhealthy for you they start writing so many things and telling you what's in it and what's not in it and then you're going to hear about pros and cons and when you drink this one you're going to have the side effects and all of that this is just nature and if you try it and you don't like it you don't have to continue but the main thing you need to know is it does contain vitamin c which is the greatest for me because it's an antioxidant and what does vitamin c do it clears your skin. It stops you from picking up illnesses very easily. It does so much for you, which we have, we, I mean, I've read some of them, but there's one that's quite interesting. American Heart Foundation confirmed this, that the hibiscus tea lowers blood pressure. I know lots of people out there are struggling with blood pressure. And if you can find something that can help to lower it, why not? One of the ways they said this works is if you drink three times of this tea 
in a week three times a day in a week three times in one day for seven days that's what they're suggesting if you drink it that way you would definitely see a marked in uh, um a marked uh, difference in your health condition regarding high blood pressure um in the process of taking all my nutrition course i understand so much about all the various types of illnesses that we're dealing with and i know that all of them are coming from this main thing called oxidation and the free radicals roaming wild in our in our body in our cells and causing so much havoc and if there's anything you can take that can stop the action of these free radicals by all means go for them and the things that do these jobs are what they call the antioxidants where vitamin C is one of them anything that can stop you from picking unnecessary illness I will do that because that's where illness starts from and that's why it starts to grow and become something bigger and bigger and bigger so ensure you start looking after your health and like we said, all this information is going to be in our description box and it's going to be on our website. Because for us, we believe health is wealth. You find lots of people out there, all they want to do is chase after wealth. And then they forget. They really do forget that the wealth has to come with a body that can handle it. Some people are so ill that they have so much money and it does nothing for them. So if you have all that money and you cannot wake up to enjoy it, what is the point of having money? So that's what it is. You need to look after yourself. And that's all the natural foods help you to do. So health is wealth. And we, we, we support you. We inspire you. We encourage you. We advise you. We guide you. These are all the things that are going to be coming under our new tree nutri life side of our business where we just feel that our life is more important than everything out there and if you can have a life then you can do everything else underneath that so take care of your body protect it guide it lead it support it and that's what we are all here about so thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video regarding our nutri life but in the meantime let me just have a lovely sip of one of these i have so much to drink now to our health this is so nice i absolutely love this tea it's not sweet it's not bitter it's just it's just plain and that's it that's what i really love about this now, I know some people may be asking me, um, but I'm a sweet tooth and what can I do? Maybe if you try putting honey, I wouldn't recommend sugar at all. Honey is natural, so try putting honey. And if you wanted to play with it like, like we do in Africa, you could, you could add a, a, a slice of orange or a slice of pineapple or, you know, things like that. Something that will bring a, a hint of taste. But let it be natural taste. But if you really, really one of those people who cannot drink it because it's not tasting sweet, I'll say honey. Okay? Alright, so we'll see you in the next video while I enjoy my tea. To your health. So remember to share this video with your friends. Anyone that you know that's having any medical or health issues regarding these things. Now, don't say, I said, and that's it. If you find that this is going to be useful to you, just chat with your doctor and hear what they think about it. But I personally, I'm a natural person and so I know what's good for me. Share this with your friends, uh, this video. Uh, remember to like us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. I always post things like this. Anything I find are beneficial to you out there, I will always share it with you. And so when you follow me on all this media, you tend to know more quicker than me spending time sitting in front of a, a camera to get across to you. So writing is quicker. So if you are following us on all this other media, you get to know more and quicker what we're doing. So we look forward to seeing you there. 
and remember like the video share it and be there give it a thumbs up you like it and we'll see you